Hi everyone, my name is Anna Bean and I am on a mission. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be decorating my big vertical happy planner that is my home life planner. I manage projects, my to-do list, you know, all those fun things. And I'm going to be using some of the stickers out of my Fiesta bundle. This releases on Friday and it's Fiesta themed for an event that I'm doing at the end of this month with the Texas Planner Babes I'm going to a planner convention and sponsoring a table and oh my goodness it's so much fun and it's in San Antonio, Texas. If you are attending leave me a message in the comments. I'd love to know. And if you are not a member of my Happy Mail Club, these bundles get released directly to my Happy Mail Club. The link is down in the description. You just click on it. It's free. And then you'll be notified each time my bundle comes out. And you'll also get a link to a spoiler video so you can see everything that's inside. Super fun goodies. And of course, stickers. <laughs> Yay. So let's get started. And during these plan with me's, when I'm decorating in my planner, we also go on a healing journey together. So today we're gonna talk about happiness and joy mixed in with some grace. <laughs> All right, so July 25th through the 31st. I am super excited about the stickers in this bundle. They are so beautiful and vibrant. Normally all the stickers in my bundles are on clear paper. Well, I did a bunch in paper this time because I've included some boxes and so we can, you know, write on them. And then these also, they just, they were so much more vibrant on paper than on clear. But of course, there are clear stickers in this bundle too. And if you would like to see the bundle, I'll go ahead and link it in the description. I know where I want to get started. And it is right here with these absolutely adorable banners. There's two of them, one on each page for one for each side of your spread. Oh, so cute. I've got a lot to talk about today, so I'm going to try to move a little quicker. Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, they're so pretty, and the colors are so beautiful. And as you can tell, I fill up the whole page, so there's little black bullet hearts everywhere. Right. It's been a minute since I've done a plan with me, so I kind of got to get back in the swing of things. I don't want one of these right here. I would like to balance this out on the other side as well. Let's see. Ooh, I think I want this one. These cute little circle stickers. I'm going to use this one right here. This, we're going to have a lot of stickers. Since this is in a my Big Happy Planner, I get to use a lot of stickers and decorate it. So super cute. I want another one of these. It feels so good to be filming. I'm going to use this flower. the box. How about this one with the yellow and the pink and the turquoise. I'm going to put it right over here in the sidebar. I think I'll put this little flower up here. Cute, cute. I want to fill up this space. I hope you're having a lovely day. My day has been very productive. I've been cutting, printing and cutting stickers for days, <laughs> days and days, but I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh yeah, that's cute. 
And you know how much I love hearts. I want to use this great big heart. Maybe I'll put down another box sticker too. But look right. Oh, but right here. Actually, no, I want to put this on Monday. Or mostly on Monday. But I'll put this a little bit over here. So I'll get some of this decorated and then we'll go into our healing journey. Talk about, you know, we, I like to feed on the word with you guys. Feed on the word of God with you guys. You know, fill up our cup. Cast down those negative, ne cast down the negative thinking. And fill our minds up with some positivity. Let's see. And I love all these little tiny stickers too. I use the whole page, a whole eight and a half by 11 page when I do my sticker sheets. So that's why you have all these little, little pieces of st sticker sheets. I think I want to use some of these. Kind of fill up this space right here. Which ones? I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> and this one. This one. Oh, they're just so precious. All these little tiny flowers and hearts. Okay. What next? Oh, another flower. on top of this box. I'm going to use some of these little boxes. Put this one and this one. Actually, I think I want, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. They're all so pretty. And these little boxes are great for appointments or even just a little po positive affirmation. Just smile. A little reminder to smile. And that makes such a difference. I'll put a little cluster over here too. I think I'm gonna put this little guy right here next to this one. Oh, it's coming along cute. Kind of look here and see. What I have left. This one. I want to use this one. And how about this one? <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Now, I want to use one of these circle boxes. How about this one? And I want to layer, I want to put it right here and layer it with another flower. Use this flower. How about like this? And this is going to be very, very decorated and I am going to love it. <laughs> I think to finish up this side, I want to do something down here. How about these little stickers? I'm gonna make it just like a little, a little garden down here. I 
I have, a, I have enough room for one of these and a heart. Another heart. Let's see. Oh, it's crooked. Let me fix that right quick. I feel so quiet today. I need to perk up. <laughs> Might should have started with uh, with reading. With us reading some word together. That'll that'll always do it. <laughs> Okay, that looks really cute. Let me look. Let's see what we want to do on this side. I know I want to use some bullet points too, because I do love bullet points. <laughs> I think I need a little heart up here. Very cute. And these bullet points. If you'll look, they match the design of this big heart and then a bunch of plain black ones. Yeah, and I want to put a big heart over here. I definitely want to use this sticker and some more of these little stickers. So how about we start down here? I absolutely gravitate to the colors with the turquoise in there. Blue is my, any shade of blue is my favorite color. How about this one down here? Okay. How about We've got one more big box. I want this big heart. Look, so it's going that direction. I want to put it right here. Maybe down a little bit more. Oh, that's cute. All right, so let's take a minute. Let's take a minute. Let's talk about some good stuff here. Let's talk about happiness. I've been watching a lot of sermons and reading a lot of word on joy and happiness. And it, I've been actually started this Bible study back in May. It was my son's birthday. And there was an incident on his birthday at his school that infuriated me. I was angry. I was so angry. And it takes a, a lot to get me angry. Well, I my joy was stolen. I was very upset. I even contacted the principal, which is one of my friends, and from being on the PTO for so, you know, five years and talked to him about it. So I woke up the next day and I still still felt anger. And I was like, all right, Lord, I've got to let this go. I've got to forgive. And I believe that forgiveness is something we do for ourselves. I believe that when we forgive someone else, it releases us. It really doesn't have anything to do with the other person. And the other person probably could care less if you forgive them or not. Or maybe they do. So I really see forgiveness as an inward um, action to be able to move forward. So I was like, Lord, I, I need to forgive this person. So I started digging into his word and looking up joy because I felt my joy was gone. You know, and it was the, the circumstance stole my joy. And I was like, all right, I got to get back to me. I got to reboot. I need help, Lord, with forgiving this person, letting go and moving forward. Well, and thankfully that all worked. You know, when you when you apply the word of God to your life in an active manner, it creates breakthroughs. 
It creates um, a different mindset. It frees you from bondage. And there's time and time again, it says over and over and over again in the Bible of how God wants us to have joy. And it's supernatural. When we put our trust and faith in Him, that's He gives us the joy. We don't have to, you know, manifest it on our own or, you know, be in the right circumstance or have the right amount of, right amount of money in our bank account or the right job. He can give it to us in a supernatural way. And I love what I, um, I love, oh, I wrote it and then I typed it. I love um, a, a sermon I watched this morning popped up on YouTube. I play YouTube in my, in my bedroom while I'm working in my office, which is connected to my bedroom. Anywho, this popped up automatically and it was Joyce Meyer's sermon, How to Find Happiness. And I was like, oh, how perfect. I'm about to film a, a plan with me and go on our healing journey together about happiness and joy. And I love what she said so much. I will link this sermon down into the description so you can experience it for yourself, the full sermon. And I love Joyce Meyer. She's just like a no BS kind of girl. She just gives it to you straight. <laughs> this is Joyce Meyer's definition of grace. If we are ever going to find happiness, we need to understand the grace of God. Grace is not only God's undeserved, undeserved, unmerited favor. So that means instead of me trying to kick down doors that I want to go through, I can trust God to give me favor and open the doors for me at the right time. Grace is what changes us. God's power. Grace is not only undeserved favor. It's God's power coming to us free of charge to enable us to to do with ease what we could never do on our own with any amount of struggle and effort. And it's like, wow, I've always known that grace is the free gift. When you receive Jesus into your heart, you are automatically saved by grace. Grace becomes a gift that is freely given to you no matter what. No matter what you hear at church, if someone is trying to preach you into heaven through fear or through you have to do this to get that, you have to be like this to get this, no. Jesus paid the price on the cross for every single one of our sins and that's for ever because every day he says every day my grace is sufficient for you so thank god and i did a plan with me on grace and it was actually easter weekend i had to go back and look and see which one was which plan with me was on grace um so i'll link it down in the description as well so you could see that but i took some of the scriptures from that plan with me and um there were a lot more than this John 1 17, for the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. That is key. That is 100% key for being able to live from fear, to live in peace, to get that supernatural joy is to put your trust in him and know that you're no longer under the law. Jesus paid the price of the law. He fulfilled the law. Not that he took away the law because the law is there to help us, you know, be moral humans. And it, the law ended up being way more than just the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament. It was like five or six hundred commandments. And God knew that we were never going to be able to fulfill the law. He knew that he was going to have to send his son to earth to save us from sin so that we can spend all of eternity, eternity with him because we are fall short every day, every day in your thoughts, in our reactions. We're just, we're not perfect. We're human. And that is the way that God created us. <laughs> Romans six fourteen: for sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under law, but under grace. Second Corinthians eight, nine, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. I want that in my life. I want abundance in every single area of my life. And this is the source. This is the key. This is unlocking the mysteries to living a life fulfilled, living a life where you can wake up and cast down those imaginations of negativity, plant in those good positive thoughts, have good thoughts about yourself, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, reactivate those dreams, get fired up every day. You know, and I know that we've, 
life is not easy, you know, and and it's hard work. In fact, I'm fixing to talk about that as well. Second Corinthians. Okay, I read that one already. Ephesians 2 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith and not that of yourselves. It is a gift for, of God. It is a free gift of God. And these, I had a whole lot, but I, I just highlighted the ones. Um, that I would read, spend time with you today on. And then I'll have a part two to this. <laughs> so if not, this will be like three hours long. And you, you don't have time for that. <laughs> okay, Psalms 511. But make everyone rejoice who puts his trust in you. Keep them shouting for joy because you are defending them. Fill all who love you with happiness. I mean, this this tells you, this tells us if we're willing to turn our lives over to Him, put our trust in Him, and activate, and, and when I say activate these promises, that means you got to learn what the promises are and believe them and fill your your mind and your mouth with them. When you're feeling feeling low or down or depressed, you have to physically work at being happy, and it by getting into his word because then he's going to fill you with that supernatural joy and peace. You're going to fill it well up on the inside of you. You will show me the path of life and your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 21, 6, for you make him to be blessed and a blessing forever. You make him exceedingly glad with joy of your presence. Again, it's going back to being in his presence, spending time with him, learning his word. Psalm 105, 54, he brought you forth his people with joy and his chosen chosen ones with gladness and singing. You know, that's, that's what I want for my life, for my son's life, for my husband's life, for your life, for my friend's life, for my family's life is happiness to be filled with some joy psalm 118 27 the lord is good who has shown and given us light he has illuminated us with grace freedom and joy matthew 5 9 blessed enjoying inevitable happiness spiritually prosperous with life joy and satisfaction in God's favor and salvation, regardless of their outward conditions. I want to be happy even in the storm, you know, even when things don't necessarily go my way or I experience difficulties or, you know, I'm upset because, you know, life, it happens. But I want to be happy regardless of the outward conditions. And that is me going back to You know, like what happened with my son on his birthday. It was devastating. I was so sad. I was angry. I cried. He cried. It was just overall sad. His birthday was ruined because of this one person. And I was like, no, 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 no. We're going to reboot. We're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to activate in my life what I know to do. And that's to go into his word, forgive the other, let go and move forward. Okay, (laughs) outward conditions are the makers and maintainers of peace. You know, be a peacemaker, for they shall be called the sons of God. John 15, 11, I have told you these things, that my joy and delight may be in you, and that your joy and gladness may, may be full measure and complete and overflowing. One of my favorite words ever is overflowing. I want everything to be overflowing. I want to be overflowing with joy. I want my bank account to be overflowing so that I can be a blessing in this world to others. You know, I want... I want my wisdom to be overflowing and not just wisdom for my business, but wisdom of how to raise my son, how to be a great wife, how to figure out how to keep my house in better shape and organized wisdom overflowing in all areas of my life. I got to read that again. I have told you these things that my joy and delight may be in you and that your joy and gladness may be full measure and complete and overflowing. John 16, 24, up to this time, you have not asked a single thing. You know, God's word says you have not because you've asked not. Go to him and ask for anything and everything. You are not a pester to God. You can talk to him about everything. Every little teeny tiny detail of your life, 
all the way to the great big giant details of your life, the big decisions, the little decisions, anything that's on your mind and in your heart. You know, he's closer than a friend. He knows you better than you know yourself, and he loves you unconditionally. Even before you have the thoughts, he knows what you're going to think. Before you speak, he knows what you're going to say. So feel free, even, even the darkest places, bring them to the light of his presence. You know, I deal and struggle with things, and I, I don't... I don't, I don't try to hide them from him. I bring them to him so that his grace can create change in my life. I truly believe that it's only by the grace of God that I can change any of my bad habits, that I can, you know, grow each day to become more and more like the person that he has created me to be. That is the desire of my heart. And yes, I am going to fail and make mistakes, do stupid things, say something stupid to somebody. It happens, you know. Let's show ourselves that grace, not obsess over the things that we've done wrong, ask for forgiveness, and move on and show yourself grace as well. All right. So back to this one again. I'm going to start over. Up to this time, you have not asked a single thing in my name as presenting all that I am. But now ask and keep on asking and you will receive so that your joy, gladness, delight may be full and complete. Guys, God wants us happy. Jesus wants us to walk in the joy of supernatural peace, abundance. He wants us over our hearts overwhelmed with his love. All right, Colossians 3.13. Be gentle and ready to forgive. Never hold grudges. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. So good. So good. Yeah. All right. I have so much more to say, but let's finish this playing with me. And in the next one, we'll talk about this some more because I think it's so important. I think it's the key to a successful life. You know, it's such a big deal (laughs) to find that joy, you know, and gratitude. That's one thing. That's always the advice I give, you know, my friends or you know, my family, if they're struggling with sadness or depression, is you get yourself separated from that. God calls it a slippery slope. Don't even go near it. And I can feel it. I can feel when I get close to being depressed because sometimes it feels good, you know, you, and it is a slope. God says, don't even get near it. Step away immediately because it's a lot easier to back away than to get pulled out of that. Like, think of a a pit of tar. Um, yeah. Whew, okay. <laughs> With another box over here. I think I'm going to put one right here. Oh, fired up. <laughs> these, I am in love with these stickers. This is the first time I'm doing a plan with me with some of my bundle stickers. You know, I'm ahead. For the first time in a long time. I am ahead. I'm not behind. I'm not struggling and like, oh my gosh, I got to get all these stickers done. It's Tuesday. I've been printing and cutting stickers all weekend long. So I'm ahead. I was like, you know what? I am so in love with the sticker bundle. I am going to do a plan with me and have it ready for my Happy Mail Club on Wednesday. They will get this video. Don't forget to RSVP if you are part of my Happy Mail Club. RSVP because you get early access, which means you've got a greater chance of snagging one of these bundles. I will be releasing these to the Texas Planner Babes on Friday. So, yeah, if you RSVP, you will get early access. I think I want some of these little guys. Ah, wow, that felt good. I think I want this one first. And these little stickers, some of them have um, kind of a little point to the the um, offset. So I just gently pull them up. I think I'm going to kind of duplicate what I have here. Just a little line of stickers. I love our craft. 
I love our decorative planning. I get I love getting emails and comments from you guys. And I received the sweetest email this week. And it was she was so so had just the kindest words to say and sent me so much love and she said how this how decorative planning calms her anxiety and just you know helps her through life and it is it's so peaceful and relaxing <laughs> for the most part i know sometimes it can get frustrating but that's okay you always have next week <laughs> that's a lot of stickers and it is so super cute and look how many stickers i still have left Let's see if I can kind of look in to see if I think I'm going to put a couple more stickers up here. Some of these little flowers again. That's why these little strips come in so handy. How many flowers do I have left? Oh, I still have quite a bit of flowers left. Do I want three flowers or do I want two flowers and a heart? And this still, like I said, leaves me with plenty of room. I'll be on at the event Friday night and Saturday. The event goes through Sunday, but my bestie Brandy and I are coming home early. Um, well, she lives in East Texas, but we're going to come back to my house Saturday night late and go play golf with our husbands. Brandy's never played golf before, so she's excited. I'm a little worried about the heat, but you know what? I don't have to worry. <laughs> Just have faith, stay hydrated, and wear sunscreen, right? <laughs> and park in the shade every time you can. Okay, that's cute, but crooked. Oh, and if you can't attend on um, in person, the Texas Planner Babes events, they have... Uh, virtual and you get tons of swag oh my goodness the speaker is Teresa Collins guys like wow the headliner I cannot wait I've got her book and I am going to ask her to sign it there's picture opportunities and yeah how special I think I just want some bullet points now some of these black bullet points and we're almost done almost complete I'm going to put them right here. I write gratitude and prayers down here and praise reports, affirmations, think positive, goals, projects, something to organize because there's always something to organize. <laughs> What I'll work on this week for organizing. But I would love to hear from you. you leave me a comment on the spread or as long as it's nice. If you have something ugly to say, don't say it. <laughs> Just keep moving along. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> we just got to be nice to people, you know? Help people because we're all struggling and going through something. Don't want something right there. No. I think I'm going to put some of these down here. Yeah, let's be nice to all those around us today and every day. You know, be that light in the world. Let's be the light. Let's be the one that encourages others and lifts others up and smiles at strangers. I think I want some cute little hearts over here too. Be that difference maker. Oh, in fact, making a difference. My bundles are also associated with a charity. So check out my spoiler alert video to know which charity we're benefiting. And normally it benefits children. Um, let's see. 
we d- we did a charity, and when I say we, it's all of us that um, it's myself with everyone that makes a purchase. We did one for the Ukraine effort to help protect children in the Ukraine. We did one for um, sending a child to summer camp. Um, my stars and stripes bundle, which I do still have a couple of summer and stars and stripe bundles left. The stars and stripes is wounded warrior project. And then this one is a, um, a charity in Mexico. That's super, super dear to my heart. Love, love, love. I'll give you a hint. Meow. (laughs) So if you are a pet lover, kitty cat lover, definitely tune in. Right. Okay, a couple more bullets and I'm done. I'll stop talking. <laughs> How about right here? Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I think this might be one of the cutest spreads I've ever made. Definitely one of my favorites. For sure. Yeah. And I almost talked myself out of it. I almost talked myself out of doing this bundle. And I was like, no, it's such a great opportunity. I need to do it. I just, I kind of needed a break. So I, I took like two weeks off from everything except for, you know, fulfilling orders, of course. I just had to have a break. I was exhausted. And then one day I was praying. I was like, all right, Lord, will you set my priorities straight today? I really need some wisdom of what I need to get done. And then boom, I had all the sticker sheets created by nine o'clock that night and started cutting them the next day. I was like, all right, well, that was definitely meant to be because it came together beautifully. All right. I love to pray with you at the end of my videos. It's one of my favorite things to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. And Lord, I lift up my friend watching today, Father. I pray that you bless her, surround her, and provide her with favor and wisdom. Father, anywhere that there is lack, I pray that your light saturates it. I pray that you reveal yourself to them in a wonderful way. I ask for a sign. I'm bold. I'm, you know, I'm bold. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm asking you for a sign. I'm asking you that you do something so kind and gentle and wonderful for them today that they'll be like, wow, this was definitely from the Lord. Because you are all powerful and that grace is God's power in our lives. So in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love you guys. You make my heart so happy. (laughs) Oh, hey, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. It takes one second just to hit that button, and it means the world to me. I love it. It, 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 It just, it means so much to me. So thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.